Yo, hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Beaker's Lab. How we doing? Today we're doing Live War and I'm psyched for that. We're gonna do Live War. Hasn't been done in a while on Beaker's Lab. We're gonna do my Live War attacks after this. First, I wanted to show you guys a raid to sort of set the bar. This is what I'm gonna be trying to do today. I'm gonna do it live though. And trust me, it does make a difference. When you know you're recording yourself live or somebody else is recording you live, it makes a difference. You, you feel like there's these eyes on you and it's cool. I mean, I it, it makes you kind of nervous, but I'm kind of used to it. We'll see what I can do. So guys, this one was just a replay from yesterday and it went really well, really well. So this is kind of the benchmark. This is what we want to do today. A three golem go hog attack flawlessly. Now that's not always going to happen with Beaker, especially you guys know sometimes I run out of time. Sometimes I... And that's basically it. I guess I just run out of time usually. That's my main problem. So anyway, we took out the dragon really easily with a poison spell, a couple of wizards, and we have our three golems down. Now notice the final golem. I dropped it a little bit late because I knew it was going to get hammered on by the enemy queen. But we're good. We're getting in here. Uh, look at how well the wall breaker rage combo got us into this base. Raging wall breakers are the best. I will take them any day over a jump spell. Well, most days. <laughs> most days they're better than a jump spell. Look, it opened up that whole area. So now we're onto the hogs. The hogs are being dropped all over the base in a semicircle on the left side. And just a couple on each defense. They're going to meet in the middle and just boom. You know, it's it's so simple. If you do this right, it's so simple. Wow, did you guys see that bomb up on the top? Like, what a terrible spot for a bomb. Whoa! I don't know where the bombs were on this base, frankly. I don't care. Um... I saw very few traps in this base. That's strange, you know? If people are attacking your base and they're not hitting the traps, hmm, maybe you should check that out. Maybe you should look into that. Uh, I don't even know where they were. Anyway, on to the next one, right? <laughs> we're gonna clean this one up. Yeah! Dude, it's so sick once you get through all the buildings and, you know, your hogs don't actually do this, but I feel like they're like, yeah! Because that's what I do. I'm like, yeah, we did it, buddies! As you get through that last offense, it's just so sweet. And then, you know, if you have a ton of hogs, they're going to run around and clean up so fast for you. Did you guys see how fast this raid was? It was not that fast, but it was like two minutes, something like that. That's pretty good. A little over two minutes, I think. I can't quite remember now, but that's pretty good. You know, you only have three minutes, and that's not that long to begin with. So, three stars for Beaker. Nice. I like that one. That was, a, that was a good raid. That was a fun raid. So, let's move on to the live raids now, guys. So, this is the first one that I was looking at. It hadn't been attacked yet. Not that that makes a big difference, but we, we knew nothing about this base. But, this is a common base. And I kind of figured, you know, I thought this guy might have some bombs right there. So, I'm going to try to lure the clan castle, see if I can trip one. Looks like he didn't have bombs there, but let's keep going. Maybe they're at the bottom. I, I can't even remember. I don't think I hit bombs on this base either. Let's see what happens. So, we're going to go in from the bottom left. It's kind of obvious. That's where the queen is. Of course, that's where we want to start. You always want to start shortest distance from point A to B. And point A is you. Point B is the queen. You want to get into that queen as soon as possible. But you also want to take out some bombs uh, and defenses if you can, you know. I don't think we're going to take out any bombs in this base. We're just going to hope for the best. <laughs> so, what do we got going on here? We got a poison spell taking out some of the clan castle troops. Some wizards over there as well. Looks like our one of our golems, the one on the left, he kind of took it for the team there. He kind of got hammered on by the balloons, the clan castle balloons. But that's okay. You know, we lost one golem, but we still have two in the middle. And a king. And some wizards. And we're doing pretty good. Dude, I must say, we're doing pretty good. So, almost time to drop the hogs. Throwing down one giant up top there just to distract for a little bit. It doesn't make a huge difference, but it does make a difference. So, you know, if you guys want to bring one giant, I wouldn't I wouldn't blame you for that. It, it makes a big difference on a surgical hog raid. One or two giants. Anyway, on to the rest. And look, we already have two heals down. Third is going to go down in the bottom section there. And we're just going to cruise through this so easily. Again, such a standard, not flawless, I'm not going to call this a flawless raid, but everything went really well. You can't deny that. And I love that, man. When you get a raid that just goes like, boom, perfect, it's nice. It's nice. It's There's so much of a difference between those raids that are like, eh. You know a raid where you like win it in the last three seconds? You're like, ah! 
in the end, it's still a three star, but it doesn't feel quite as good. When you really nail that raid, it's like, yes. So it looks like we're gonna have uh, some extra time on this one as well. Look, the, the clock, this is the live clock, of course, and it says a minute left, and we're not gonna need anywhere near a minute. Again, we're gonna get it in about two minutes, a little over two minutes. Pretty good. And I think that all is because we lured the clan castle quickly, and we killed it quickly, and we got into the base quickly. And there's a little rule that I like to follow about hogs. Well, I like to tell this rule. I don't always follow it, but if you drop your hogs within the first 30 to 40 seconds, you should be good. You should get the three star. And that's something to think about, guys. It's not always the easiest thing to do, but you want to drop your hogs as early as you can. So... On to the next one. This is my second raid of the day. We already got that first three star. Setting up nice here. This is the second one. I'm feeling pretty good. Think we got this. Let's see what we can do. Now, I lured the clan castle. Dropped a barb just to make sure there was no bomb. You know, <laughs> like, that would have been the worst spot ever for a bomb. But you never know. You just never know. So, uh, live war. Let's do it, buddies. Let's get some six star, uh, six star war action up in here. Can I get a second three star? I don't know. You know what worries me right here? Look at how long I'm taking, like, oh no, we're already at 30 seconds past, and I've done nothing. That's something to, you know, be concerned about, guys. You don't want to be doing this. Look, I'm almost at 40 seconds. We've done basically nothing. So, think about this all the time. You want to have this in your plan. You want to get that clan castle out there as quickly as possible. I could have been a little quicker here. Definitely could have been a little quicker. And I could have just gotten into the base faster, killed the queen faster, and therefore dropped the hogs faster. So always be thinking about this, guys. Think about the quickest way you can get your hogs on the playing field safely. Now, we we have less than two minutes left, dude. Oh, no. This is not a laughing matter. I, I'm laughing, but it's not funny. So let's get the hogs in there. Going to throw three on each defense. I mean, I thought this would work still, but I kept throwing more hogs. I threw way too many hogs up on the top corner there, threw a couple on the top, and now all of a sudden I have two left. How did that happen? <laughs> I think I just threw a few too many hogs up on the top, and now I'm kind of sketched out, man. I only have one heal left. Got to put it in the perfect spot if we're going to have any hope at all. Do we even have hope? We're losing hogs all every minute here to traps and sketchy stuff. We got skeleton traps following us everywhere we go. Oh boy. You know, guys, I wish I could raid with like the screen zoomed in more. I, I always forget to do that. I'll try to do that next time because we're like all zoomed out here. So what we, we're getting into the last area here and it's not looking good. Dude, how great would it be right now if I had a couple of hogs? If I had a couple of hogs left, I could have dropped them on that final area there. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, what happened? <laughs> Dude, there is one hog left. Oh, man. <laughs> That's almost like a funny story, right? You know, like, you get through the whole base, and you need hogs to clean up, and you have one. It's like, well, it could be worse, right? No, it could not be worse. This is never going to be a three-star, but that's okay. You know, we, <laughs> we at least learned something from this. This was the first live war and it definitely brought up some good points you want to lure that clan castle as quickly as possible that sounds like common sense it is but yet why don't we always do it sometimes you get in the raid and you know things start moving real real fast and you're thinking i gotta do this i gotta do this and you forget about a couple of things so make sure you have a plan when you're going into a raid think i'm gonna lure that clan castle as fast as possible over to here kill it and then get in that base and set yourself goals be like i'm gonna drop those hogs at this time and make sure you drop them anyways guys that's enough uh serious talk hope you guys enjoyed live war i definitely enjoyed this it's a little different you know recording yourself live i do it a lot so i'm sort of used to it i do it on my dark elixir time series but it's a little different, you know, it's really hard to narrate, that's why I narrated over them today, but, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think, I think it's gonna be a cool series. Hopefully we'll win more than we lose, we can show good raids as well as bad raids, we'll see though, we'll show them either way, so, guys, that's it, hope you enjoyed it, I'll see you next time, peace. <laughs>